you know, question continues and says, I know there is so many girls out there, but I've always had a problem becoming attached to one girl. I've seen your pebble video, but what's the best way to realize there's so many more out there? You don't have to realize it. That's a fact. It's like standing in front of the ocean and say, how can I realize there's so much water here? <laughs> you're, you're in it. You're in front of it. And you're swimming in it. That is the fact. You don't have to see everything to believe that there is so many girls available. Look at the statistics. Where are they? They're available. There are over 8 billion people on this earth. At least half of them are girls. Right? So you know for fact that there's a lot more girls around. You don't have to see them all. It's like saying... How many oceans are in, you know, in this world? And you say, well, I only see one. Well, that's because you're here and the ocean is here. But there are other ones, right? So knowledge and data and information is out there. So focus on that. That gives you the information you're looking for. You don't have to, you have, you don't have to meet 10 girls a day to say, oh, yeah, there are so many available. No, they're available. If you haven't, come across them, it just means you haven't to come across them because you're busy focusing on one. But once that one is no longer your concern, then you'll start looking again. You know, it's like an animal who is hungry, finds food, and when it's having that food, then no longer is aware of existence of other food because it doesn't care because there's this food there. You know, lions, if they're not hungry, they're not going to tear you apart if you're not causing any danger to them because they have food in front of them and that has satisfied their need. So when you are in a relationship that has satisfied your need and you're focused on that, but the fear of not having what you really like and you're having is the problem. Not that thinking there's no other women out there. There are, but you're not focused on them because you have your food in front of you, so to speak. So you're not concerned about the existence of, actually existence of other food, other possibilities, yeah? So once you actually recognize that you are not aware of the existence of the abundance because you're satisfied with what you have, then you realize that, okay, just because you're satisfied doesn't mean that there's no more possibilities out there. They're there. That's for fact. I just am busy with this. But if I wasn't, if this doesn't work, I'm damn sure that there's a lot more out there and I can find another one. So that should be your support system. So you won't be so shaky or paralyzed if something if she doesn't text or whatever you know and um, he says there's so many more out there I need to learn how to take all the importance off of her and go on through the day without thinking of her well you're trying to focus on the importance out of her where did that importance come from it comes from your desire for her remember we said at one of our discussions and videos that the importance of things and people is equal to your need and desire for them. Importance of things or people is equal to your need or desire for them. Yeah? If you want to buy a suit or a briefcase, or if your lady want to buy a handbag, the importance of that product is based on your desire and a need for them. If you want to go on a, I don't know, party and you need a new suit or you want to go on an outing and this lady needs a new, you know, uh, brand name handbag, then that becomes important to her because there is a reason for it. There's a need for it, yeah? But if she doesn't have a need for it, she doesn't want to go anywhere, she doesn't want to have a handbag suited to her new dress or attire, she wouldn't be hunting for it. She wouldn't be interested in it. She wouldn't be paying the price. She wouldn't think it's important because there's no need for it. Now, same thing goes with anything else. If you have need for her, that's why she's important. Otherwise, on her own, what's her importance? 
What has she done? Other than the fact she's another biological entity and she's doing what everybody else is capable of doing according to their education and training and so on. She's doing what she's doing and she happens to be, uh, you know, interesting to you. And you like her looks. You like sex with her. You like intimacy with her. You like to get to know her. You like to hang around and uh, bond with her. So that's you and your need and interest that makes her to become important. On her own, what has she done? Cured a common cold? Brought peace to the world? All the elderly are safe? And children are fed because of her? What is it that makes her so important? Nothing out of ordinary. She's just cute. She's pretty. That's all. But your desire for her has made her become so important to you. And that same desire that you have is yours, stays with you, is part of your characteristics, which you can therefore use it to make somebody else important and need another woman in case this didn't work. So because you are the source of the importance of other people, based on your need and your interest, therefore you will never be uh, alone or you'll never be running out of this beautiful circumstance that you're looking for. Because if this didn't work, you are the source of gravitating them towards you or finding them because you have that what can make them seem important, your desire, yeah? your need. And you unleash it on somebody else and that person becomes as important as this one is. So don't think that if she goes, then you don't have somebody that could be that important and that interesting to you. No, you made her important and interesting because of your desire and need because that's how you're built. You know, simple. So 